Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. President Andrew Johnson appointed Adelbert Ames Provisional Governor of Mississippi in 1868, the first member of the Republican Party to hold that office. A highly decorated Union officer, Ames had received the Congressional Medal of Honor after the first Battle of Bull Run and a battlefield promotion at Gettysburg. At the time of his appointment, Ames was serving as the military governor of the 4th Military District, which had been established under the Federal Reconstruction Policy, and that district included Arkansas and Mississippi. Ames would serve as both military and provisional governor until the establishment of civil authority on March 10, 1870. After he left office, Ames and his wife lived for a time in Natchez. After Mississippi was readmitted to the Union in 1870, the state legislature appointed Ames to the United States Senate, but in 1873, Ames ran for governor against James L. Alcorn, the other senator from Mississippi who had also served as governor. Because he was an advocate for black suffrage, Ames was particularly popular among Mississippi's former slaves, and they supported him in his successful race for governor. Unfortunately, Ames' tenure as governor was torn by racial and political discord. During the elections of the fall of 1875, Ames used the state militia to maintain order, a move that only incited more unrest. After the Democratic legislature convened, they brought unfounded impeachment charges against Ames in order to drive him from office. Ames resigned as governor and returned to Lowell, Massachusetts, where he died in April 1933. This is Haley Barber. I have the honor of serving as the 63rd Governor of Mississippi, and this has been your Natchez History Minute. Happy Tricentennial, Natchez.